Hi guys, so I'm going to show you something really cool today. So basically, um, in my last video, I was talking about the um, loading, I'm um, doing some actual encoding with the basically um, converting with the basically um, um, automator. But so there's there's the automator media encoder doesn't really work and um, it messes up a lot. So Basically, it, I can get a, a a good convert. So basically, there's a couple things you actually need. This is another way. So basically, what you're gonna need is uh, a couple things. You're gonna need um um. Let me show you. So so basically, I'm gonna show you. So basically, this is I'm gonna show you how to make this, which is a Auto um, Ripper, which is basically, it's a multi one, so, and then there's this one, which is uh, the single one, and then if you right click, and if you right, right click on a MIDI file, and go down to um, Quick Actions, go to here. So basically, I'm going to show you how to make all of that. So... The first thing is, first thing you're gonna need is FFmpeg, which is a encoder for um, this to basically convert files from MP MP4, from MKV to MP4. Um, then that's if you um, are not trying to do trans transcoding with HFLX, or just trying to get the file to MP4 for the editing software. And you don't have extra PPC, or, or you don't want to use a uh, um, Apple me media encoder encoder that specifically, I mean not Apple, not I mean uh, Adobe media encoder. And so, basically, you're gonna need FFmpeg. You're going to need um, Handbrake C C C L I, which is command line interface. Um, then you're also going to need Automator. And if you want to, one of them you can for specifically this one you can put on a stream deck. This one you can leave in your actual um application folder and or just on the desktop and drag and drop to here and it'll work. So let me explain. So the first one. I'm gonna show you how to make the first one first. So first you need to open up launchpad or app drawer or whatever. Go to uh, um, here, go to your automator. And then you need to go to file new. And now you need to go to, um, now you need to go to, um, now you need to go to, um, quick action click there and then for this one you need to do this you need to go to I'm um, here which is change this to file and folder and then you need to, to get the uh, um it would be um run run uh shell script that there make sure this is set to that one then set the then set this to that and now, that's what you need to do for pretty much all three of them. You need this one right here, but each of them are going to change. So, so for example, now you need the script. I'll show you the script. So, one second. So this is a script. 
So let me make it bigger. So pause the pause the video here and uh, then resume once you can write it down. Okay. So since we're on pause now, so so it will be it will be four F N colon I mean yeah colon dollar sign at colon do name equals dollar sign and then uh parenthesis echo dollar sign f with all these spaces in there I'm not gonna read it all since you can read it um I'll try to put it in the description if I can remember but this is the code you need so just copy this and then once you do that you put it in here and uh, press space and then now we're gonna just gonna go file save as you want to name, name it something you can remember I'm just naming this one as test 2 so test not test 2 it's just test and uh, test two and uh, it's just test and as you can see it will be saved as a dot workflow so when you basically go you will lower this down we'll just flow close out of this one and then we will um, do after that but you just need to make that file first. And so while while those files are while you're making that file, you should have these um the handbrake CLI done. And then also you should have um the the um FF FFmpeg done. Okay. So then you just basically go to, to a finder window. Um I'm just gonna use this one right here. So you press command shift G and then you want to type in user forward slash local forward slash Ben this one to be specific it brings up this one you drop the FFmpeg um, file here and the um, handbrake CCCCCLI here and then you're done with that and so now since those are in there and you have the file created the first file if you decide to to, to to use it as a service is by for example here's just a file I have which is a um, episode of um, of a show so it which is an MK, MKV so you right click and then you go down to here where it says action where it says quick actions and then you go down to where it says test. And when you do that, it runs and you see it made a file. And then if you look over here in your actual um, taskbar, it tells you how much it has left to actually go. And so uh, I'm just gonna pause it here and it, it depending on your your computer spec so if you have a actual m1 mac mini it takes around about five eight min minutes per per actual file and if you have an m1 max it's faster and the m1 ultra is even faster but so that's all you need to know i'm gonna pause it for now just so it'll finish and right now we're at uh, 11.53 
So hi guys, so it is 12, uh, it is 12, uh, um, I mean it's 11.59, it was, it was 12.54 when it got done, but I had to restart the computer for an update, so sorry about that. So it only took literally less than one minute to actually get done. And here's the file. And so, we're just going to drag that over here to trash can. So, because I don't need it at the moment. But, uh, so, that's how that's how that one's made. So, I'm going to basically open Automator. And then go to open. I'm not going to make, actually, I'm not going to show you the actual open i'm not going to show you how to create all of them but um i'll tell I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through through it but i can't run each of them each time because of it made the computer lag but basically i'm actually gonna open each of them so here is this one this one is just uh the other one, which is auto handbrake dot app, which is uh, the other one. Um, this one is uh, this one is uh, uses a get saw selected finder item. So with this one, and it's a script right here that I, that I showed showed you. So with this one, all you have to, to, to do is drag the file, which is this one right here on the desktop. You drag the file here, and it will load it up and you can um it will do it in the background and you can just drag and drop it there leave the, leave one on your desktop or you can have one on your actual quick quick access in the service in the services and so, so the service one is just basically this one and it runs as a service it doesn't run as an app but this one runs as an app because if you just run this, you have to basically um put this on top of uh, you. You basically have to. It just didn't work properly because you have to like double click uh, the actual file and then you have, you have to click file and then you had to click right click file press open with. And then use that automator script, just which is with this this one, and it would actually run, which is just like having the menu. But with this one, you have to drag and drop. So the other one that I show that I showed you that you saw, which is this one. This one is a multi. It's a um multi. So this one is different. Where this one actually is modified a bit more. So. Basically, it's the same exact script. Um, it's the same exact um script, bad bash script, and it is uh, basically with this one. You just have it. Uh, with this one, you can have it set to a specific folder. So, so if you have, for example, a folder, if you have a one ter ter terabyte uh, um Mac of one terabyte Mac or two terabyte Mac or four terabyte, whatever you, you, you have. And, um, you have a folder just full of media. You basically set this, you basically have this way, which is ask for finders, ask for finder items. And then you have its files and folders. You have that specific folder set and you have it. So select allow multiple, allow multiple um, so selections and from there you, you put in the script and so then you can highlight multiple stuff and drag and drop it in there and it would just work and it would basically convert them one after another and it uses the base uh, um it uses the the base script you, you can actually modify the actual script using the parameters from actual the from from um and from it to the handbrake c c c c l i 
um, user guide, but this is basically just, I'll tell you what the script is. So basically this one is basically, um, the, the name would be the title of the name. It cuts it out and then which would be the, in this case, it would cut out the name of MKV. And then the echo is just the, does its job. And then the F is, I don't remember that one, but the D is another flag. And the F is, is also a flag. The I is for, um, got the, I don't remember the actual I, like, like the actual, the, um, the, um, terms. I don't remember what they were. But the, the O is for output, so it outputs the name, and this would and the I is to output uh, is basically the um is the format, and so the I tells the format, the O outputs it, so I outputs it, and this flag right here is for MP4, and the MP4 right here is for the name plus mp4 so with the output it will output the name of the original name right here and this will out this will basically convert the f this is the f format which it cuts out right here the for format which was, would be mkv this is just simply explaining it it's more complicated to explain that than the way I explained it but that's all you need to know for that one and what I did was just set it to desktop since this is a 256 gigabyte Mac mini I don't really have much space to just store terabytes of data so what I was planning on doing was basically having some kind of move file so to like move the actual file from because this is the one I'm going to use. I'm not going to use this one because of I don't want drag, drag, and drop onto there. I want to basically just open the file, um, convert, and then I can move it to my NAS. So and I can probably have it point to an actual NAS. So I'm going to see if they have that. So uh, move move finder items so if this works so okay i'm just gonna try that one i'm gonna try it real quick so I'm going to say to the download folder. So it goes to the download folder. Let's try this. I don't know if it'll break because if it breaks, then that would be weird. Okay, so this is the my modified app. So I'll just show you this one. So this is one. So it opens the file. And then here is this the MKV file. And uh, I'm going to stop it to see if it does anything. No, it actually. So as you can see right here, it's right here.
So I'm just gonna stop it right here and see if it moves it. Cause it shouldn't take longer. Okay. And the answer is no, it doesn't work properly. It basically, it still puts it on to the desktop. So. So I'm just gonna delete that, press save. And then I'm just gonna delete this. And I played it. So, sorry about that. I don't get copyrighted. <laughs> Okay, so as we know, this works. So there's that. So all you need to like do is basically save save it as an app file. So this is the one I'm going to use, which is uh, multi, and this one isn't going to be used. And I'm also going to get rid of the um other scripts I have in there. Because this one works fresh and me the best because I can actually transfer, copy most of them. But if you just want some something, for example, if you just want to go right, like right click, go to quick actions and, and be there. So that would work. So, okay. Thanks for watching. Um, this is uh, um, just a quick video I decided to like do. So it's, yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.